All right, so let's take a look at some of the basic shapes we were going to deal with. Uh, if we have a rectangle, it is exactly as you think it should be. The centroid's right in the middle, half the base, half the height. Um, always consider where you're measuring from. Um, usually it's the bottom left, um, but keep in mind where you're doing there. If you have a triangle, it's a little bit different. We have a third of the base and a third of the height. So um, make sure that's located right within here. And especially for triangles, keep, keep in mind which way it's oriented so you know where you're measuring from, where your axes are. Um, regular circle. Put it right in the middle. That radius is your distance, uh, is your x and y. Keep in mind as to whether you're given, are you given the distance or the diameter, or are you given the radius? Um, and for a semicircle, changes things up a little bit. This is the fanciest simple shape we have. For the this coordinate, which is our x coordinate in this orientation, it would just be the radius really, or half the diameter halfway through, because it's symmetrical around that line right there. Um, but as to far how up it goes, we're going to use 4r over 3 pi, which is 4 times the radius divided by 3 pi. Um, if you want to know why, Google it. There's some probably some calculus involved in some fancy trigonometry. Trigonometry, trigonometry, don't hurt yourself. Anyways, these are the simple shapes. Any complex shapes we deal with, at least we're going to deal with, is going to be set up as part of these simple shapes. So think simple, even when it's complex.